Hey, welcome to Old Ass Movie Reviews, and today we are returning to the 80s horror genre and also uh, doing movies that are either from or based on H.P. Lovecraft stories. And first out of the gate is Reanimator. God, this is such a classic. Oh, such a good movie. Real, real <laughs> quick, before we get too deep into it, um, folks, hit the like button. Yes. Hit subscribe. Write a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, I'm going to keep doing this thing because, you know, please, it's the right thing to do. Help uh, us if, out. <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening to us on the podcast, go ahead and write us a review. Leave us a five-star uh, rating. Even if you don't like us, leave us a five-star rating. To heck with the people who yeah. listen to us at that so point. So you guys suck. Leave a five-star rating. <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. Here's a five-star rating. I don't care. But uh, <laughs> hit the like button, absolutely, and subscribe. If you like two old guys complaining or just talking movies, we're it. We're the guys. Pardon my uh, congestion today. I have really bad allergies. It's attacks. Florida and pollen, pollen city. Pollen. Yes. Oh, Lots Lord. of pollen. Yeah. Yes, it's bad. It's bad. So tell me, what did you think of Reanimator? I got a text from you last night. It said there's so much wrong. There's way so much wrong with this movie for me to like it as much or enjoy it as much yeah, as I am. Yeah. So I know you had fun with it. I, I did. This this movie, I I may have seen bits and parts of it because I was sitting there watching it with the wife. And she's like, we watched this movie. I said, I don't remember mm -hmm. ever watching it. She's like, no, I'm pretty sure we've seen this movie before. And I'm, I don't know. But as I'm watching the movie, I'm like, okay, I remember that scene, and I vaguely remember this scene. So uh, somewhere along the lines, I must have watched it with right. her at one point. Um, and there is so much gore in this movie. It's not even real gore. No, it's, it's, it's over like, the top. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, somebody's intestines come to life, reach out, grab a guy, and start choking him. Um, that's, that's the kind of insane, uh, over the top. Let, let me talk it. about that. It's, um, stars ran the series, uh, Ash versus evil dead. So Bruce Campbell re reprised his role and they had a TV series of uh -huh. the evil dead for a while. And he was in a morgue and there was this, uh, just a torso and the guts came out and grabbed him and pulled him to mm -hmm. and shoved his head right in his, a the torso's ass. <laughs> Oh. So he had a little appendage swinging in front of his face. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. Oh, so it's, it, yeah, yeah. Um, it reminded me of that. It's like, oh my God, look, I see where they got it. Yes, the oh. and here's the thing with the gore in this movie. Yes, it's gory, but it's such a fun gore because it's so not. I mean, even I can't stand to see animals hurt, but that cat was so fake. It was awesome. <laughs> that cat, that. Cat. <laughs> oh, it was still hard, but man. <laughs> it's on his back. He's, get it off. Get it off. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's got some, like, meat on it. <laughs> it's like some strip steak or something on the <laughs> damn cat. It's like, what? <laughs> well, what? How this movie starts out is Jeffrey Coombs is the is the star. He's the crazy doctor. Oh, he scientist. is definitely the star of this um, movie. And let me tell you a little something about Jeffrey Coombs. I love this guy as an actor. I've... I've Watched him in a bunch of Star Trek episodes. Uh, Deep Space Nine, he played a Ferengi. He plays oh, Wyoming. No uh, yeah, he's the guy who comes and starts in Deep Space Nine. He's the Ferengi that shows up at Quark's bar and starts. He's basically the auditor, the tax oh auditor. Oh, my God. First guy to show <laughs> of course, <up>. of course. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, he plays Wyoon. He's the uh, little clone guy that's with the founders, the shapeshifters, mm. he's their, he's their voice. Um, in Enterprise, he plays, I forgot the captain's name, but he plays a, uh, um, Andorian, the blue skin guys with the antennas. That was um, him. Oh my that God. Was him. He's, he's also the voice of the question in the JLA cartoon. I'll be damned. And he's just such a talented guy. He's also in The Frighteners as the oh, FBI yeah. agent. <laughs> Jesus, Jeffrey yes. Coombs has had a career of not sticking out Yeah. for, what, 30, 30 more, 30 plus years? Yeah. The guy's been, been in Hollywood. Hollywood. He's always done movies. He's always been in the front. 
And he's always one of those guys who can step back, and if you didn't hear his voice, you wouldn't recognize him. Yeah. Because he just looks like every guy. But he can put on that really creepy... Oh, he does creepy well. <laughs> ...axe murderer face. And when you first see him in the movie, he's on top of a, a, a great scientist, evidently. Yeah. <laughs> and he's injecting this guy with this green glowing stuff that's supposed to reanimate his body. And when the guy stands up, the guy's just spitting out blood. His face, his skin is purple. His eyes are yeah. <laughs> bulging. And they're just, all of a sudden, blood just starts squirting out of the eyes. I mean, everything is just so over the top. Yeah. And his response, when the lady says, oh, my God, you've killed him. He turns to her and he says, I didn't kill him. I brought him back to life. And yeah, like, it was a, to me, that was a Dr. Frankenstein moment. Because yeah. he was so dramatic with that. <laughs> I gave him life. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and it's like, oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. You are a totally psychotic pal. Yes. Yeah, he was. And he played so, it well. Somehow he gets past all that in, in uh, whatever the hell country he was in, Sweden or whatever. Sweden, yeah. And he comes to California. Uh, somehow he got, or no, Massachusetts. I'm sorry, Massachusetts. Yeah. And uh, he's at a new college. Like yep. nothing ever happened. I know. It's like, a, uh, you know. Yeah. I guess they couldn't make the murder charges stick. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, or they just didn't want to bring out what really happened. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that, that was just so funny. That that first five minutes, you see the guy's eyes, and it, I'm like, okay, this is where we're going. This, this, is, this is what's going to happen in this well, movie. And that, that's one of the things about this movie. I mean, it's following Jeffrey Coombs' character as he is discovered. We never know where or how he discovered the uh, reanimation serum. Right. We know none of this backstory. We just know he has it. And um, he starts off experimenting on um, his new roommate's cat, which I know he damn good and well, he killed that cat. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. He absolutely he did. killed the cat. Um, but then once his roommate sees Dan, I think Dan Kane sees the, um, the cat reanimate, He's in. He's on. And they just have a series of fuck up after fuck up after fuck up on this. And hello, Siri. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> well, fuck you, In too. Siri. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow. So you have to watch what you say because the sentient AI inside my laptop just became aware. Right. <laughs> um, but it's weird. <laughs> I love it when they go to the morgue to reanimate a corpse and um it shit just goes so fucking south yeah, right there from there it just gets worse well um 10 minutes 40 seconds by the way yeah for boobs well did you recognize her yes i did cat actually recognized her before i did yeah I, I that's not the first time we've seen barbara's boobs <laughs> no no she was in uh chopping mall in chopping mall yes did, she did she, not she, get what she wasn't naked in chopping mall was she yes she was Oh, was she? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought she was the one who kept her clothes on. No, no, she wasn't. She was the one who got burned alive because she wouldn't stop screaming. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She wasn't the Marines. No. Okay. No, she was She was the other one who just screamed and screamed the whole time. And then when she was on fire, nobody went to save her. They just watched her burn. Yes. Chopping mall. Another classic. Uh, <laughs> I, I just got to say, I'm going to say it Je again. Jeffrey Coombs is creepy. He, he yes. Creepy guy. Um. <laughs> Yeah. The the cat in the refrigerator though, that would have been an equal to an ass kicking. If that was my It'd cat. Been over. That guy's head would have been through a wall. He'd have been yeah. through the window. I don't give a shit what floor we were on. That guy would have yeah. been out that It would have been over. And, yeah. There just would not have ended well for that guy. No. Nope. Not at all. But the um, cat does get its revenge. That cat gets some of its own revenge on him. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, it didn't take long. I mean, that's an eighties thing. You have to show boobs. What, here's one of the things that I'm going to bounce around a bit is, Go ahead. um, it gets even more so near the end, but this is an equal opportunity movie. I yeah. saw enough penises flopping around that I know. there we go. You know, and, and I, it, yes, it, every bit of it was gratuitous. Not a damn bit of it was needed. Um, no, no. But that's the 80s for you. Um, 
but we've got to show it all. And, and Barbara did. So <laughs> over the top. Yeah. So over the top. Yeah. It's just, this is a funny movie um, in the aspect that it, it is over the top. And when um, Dr. West, which was Coombs, kills Dr. Hill, who came right. to steal his formula. With the shovel. With the shovel. So it cuts off his head. This is something else that's not explained. Hill, all of a sudden, has telepathic powers. Right. And controls an army of the dead. Because he goes back to the hospital morgue and he reanimates all these motherfuckers while carrying his head in a tray. But my favorite scene in this movie is when he, his body, his headless body picks up the head. I know, I know exactly what you're going to talk about. And lowers That's it. So disgusting. Oh. Lowers it down near um, Barbara Cramp, <clears throat> Meg, I think is her name. Right. Down near Meg's face and he licks her and then he moves between her legs and starts zooming in and it's like oh you no no you're not and then of course somebody walks in and stops it but it's like crazy like a jeffrey coombs walks in and he's just as cool as a cucumber with this all this shit going on and he just looks at the guy and he starts insulting him yes you have the, what does he say you you have the keys to mortality in your hands and what do you do you're just a pervert or something like that. Something like that. I mean, yeah, he just starts laying the insults down. The, it's like, <laughs> the dialogue is great in that those final scenes. Yeah. The uh, security guard cracked me up. He's out there reading porno mags. Right. Uh, As you do when you're a... And, and, and when that head, when that head flies out and splatters on the wall, he's like, fuck this, I'm gone. He looks, he does one of these. He does like a round the corner look. Yeah. He just shakes his head. He He's, I'm out of here. He's gone. Yeah. That hospital was in total chaos. Oh um, my God. And that's one of the things I love, love the ending uh, just because it's like, oh shit. And I know there's a sequel to this and honestly, I haven't seen it. So it's on, uh, it's on Tubi. Okay. It's on Tubi. Um, and not, we, we're not getting sponsored by Tubi by any chance. Barbara no, but Tubi is freaking awesome. But Tubi is great. If you don't have it, it's T-U-B-I. I have it on my Roku. I imagine mm. you can get it on your computer. Yeah, I have it on my there. Xbox. I watch yeah. on my Xbox. It's, um, it's on I love it. all of that stuff. I love it. There's all sorts of old 80s movies. It's on, on your it. phone. Fantasy Island. They have a, the, the entire series of Fantasy Island on there. See, I that's great. some last night. And that, that's one of the things, and I, I will I will shell out for Tubi because it's been absolutely wonderful. Right. The commercials are not obtrusive, meaning you may get the same one 50 times, but right. not right. even 50 times. It, they don't interrupt as often as regular broadcast TV, so it's no big no. deal. And no, it's free. It's free. It's great. I, you have yeah, no reason they, not to have Tubi. It, it's a good product. Um, Tubi's a good product. So if anybody's looking for something... And you don't want to shell out money for for uh, uh, Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Tubi's got some good stuff on it. We've, it does. we've watched a few movies on there and quite a few reviews from there. So that's yeah. that's where I've seen some of them. Uh, quite a few. The really bad Cat Night, Cat of a Thousand. That was nights. Tubi. <laughs> that was Tubi. It was yep. a horrible movie, but it was Tubi. <laughs> and I and I will say this about Tubi: I had reservations about it because thinking, oh, it's a free service; they're going to edit things. But no. Nothing is edited. Uh, the movie I was in, Song of Solomon, is there. Check it out, people. That on Tubi. is shocking. <laughs> that, that's a shocking one. It's on there for free, complete, in all its gory wonderness. That's There's no good. boobies, but it's uh, gory. No boobies. Um, I just do. I have one question about uh, the the second doctor, the guy, the kid who's rooming with. Yeah, Kane. Uh, Kane. How does one guy go so crazy so quickly? It's like instantly he talks him right into doing all this crazy crap. And I'm like, I know what, what sane guy would do that. I'd have thrown, no, he'd have been gone. I'd be, I, I don't care what you do. Just get the hell out of my life. Yeah. I'm with you, dude. The cat in the fridge would have been it. Go. Yeah. You're gone. Yeah, I would have been packing his shit right then and there. Shit. I don't care. Get out of here. It would have been no packing. Yeah. Yeah. There's two ways out of this house. <laughs> the window <laughs> or the stairs. Down the stairs. <laughs> exactly. I use that line as much as possible. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. It's a it's a fun one. This is a is a classic 80s movie. Um just in the aspect it just has that 80s vibe. Yeah. 
side. Uh, the dialogue's loose. The the some of the shit is well. Of course, the whole damn thing's unbelievable. But oh, yeah. it's yeah, it's there's... funny. It's just it's stupid people doing stupid things. Um, I I'll be honest. Uh, complete disclosure: We're doing H.P. Lovecraft. I have never ever read any H.P. Lovecraft in my life. No, I don't think I have either. And I, I really want to. Who created Cthulhu? Yes, okay. that is him. Yeah. That is him. Um, so there's some great stories out there. And a lot of his stuff, from my understanding, deals with madness and insanity. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's really cool. Um, and this is a neat story. I'm, I'm really curious how close it stays to the right. uh, to his story. Um, there's there was a resurgence with him on HBO, did a series called Lovecraft Country. Uh-huh. And um, while it I took his. That. I, I don't recommend it. Some people loved it. I didn't. I only made it four episodes and I stopped. But um, they took the mythos of H.P. Lovecraft uh, and then they introduced uh, 1950s, 60s racial horror against black people with Klan and racism and stuff. And, right. you know, that's cool, but I would love to see a black family for once move into a neighborhood and not get tortured. And I'm sure they yeah. would too. You know, th- yeah. that's exploitation in itself. Um but I think they did it because somebody had written a book of love called Lovecraft country or whatever. Uh-huh. And they did that as a big F you to HP Lovecraft because he had written a poem about, um, it was a very racist poem about black people. Um, I won't repeat any of it, but I, I this is all news to me. Yeah. I don't know so it's, about. so I think it was, it was done like that. Let's show this, uh, the racism and stuff. And it was, it was uncomfortable to watch, not because I'm white. It's just, I don't like seeing people mistreated period. Right. And right. especially for stupid reasons like that. Get to know somebody. There's plenty of reasons to hate them besides the right. way they look. I mean, <laughs> hell, look at us. We hate everybody. Yes, I right. will find a way that you are an asshole. <laughs> I'm not racist. I hate everybody. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh it was it was kind of like that, but this right. is definitely before all of a sudden let's get in the HP Lovecraft thing. And um yes, he wrote about the elder gods and stuff. I don't know how this fits in there. Um but it's a neat it's a neat movie. It's a neat movie. It's fun. It's funny. It's it's so over the top disgusting. It's funny. Um when he brings <laughs> Halsey's head back to life. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out why the hell he pumped the body full of that chemical too. I mean, it, that didn't make any sense. I could understand the head, but when he goes down He, he just I think he body. wanted to see cuz he said he said I've never never reanimated a part. So, oh, okay. Okay. So he did the head and then he did the body, and it's like, oh my god! Because I know how Halsey did the mind control thing, because he actually tells him how he does it. He I miss he, that. He does a uh, a lobotomy. There's a portion of the brain that he's doing a bo- like a partial lobotomy on, and that helps him control. It's it's not See, so much I, mind control as he, he's he's telling them what to do, and they're following his well, direction. Well, I thought of it as mind control because you had this big thing where they they were about to take out take out Halsey. And he's like, oh, well, I don't think so. And all of a sudden, right. all the corpses rise. And it's like, yeah. wow, you know, it's like it was it was some sort of he had planned all of this, which he had. Right. I, I just thought it was funny because after he chops his head off. Are they coming to get you? No, I don't know who it was. I thought somebody was in my driveway. After, after, <laughs> after he chops, chops his head off. After he chops his head off, he's got it in that container and it keeps falling over and falling over. And he looks over and he grabs the water yes! holder. The little, the little spike milk thing, which is a spike. It oh, it's a spike. Spikes it's a spike. It, yeah. spike. Spikes the head down on the spike so it'll stand up. And I'm just dying laughing. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, that's hysterical. No, it's just so stupid and hysterical. Well, and that, that's what's that's what's funny. It's like, what would somebody do? I mean, yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you know, because because uh, West was so obsessed with with this, yeah. and nothing yeah. else mattered. And I get it. Can you imagine? Had you found the secret or been on the key to immortality? Yeah, you would probably right. be as nuts as him. It's like, holy shit, you've seen it work. You're gonna make it go. But yeah, yeah his his trying. his partner there, Kane, just fell right into it. Yeah, that and was it a cost too... him everything. And one of my yeah everything. And it, one of my questions was: Are there no sane people in this movie? I didn't see one sane person in this movie. Halsey was always a bastard. Oh yeah, and he was I mean, a he creep. Was they had to introduce. Is it kind of funny how they introduced a side story that he had the hots for Meg since she was yeah. a little girl? He yeah, had like, her hair clippings weird. and stuff. Yeah, he, he was, was a perf, creepy, creepy guy. Perf. 
So it made perfect sense that when he was reanimated and she's strapped to a table naked while he's going yeah. in. But that, that still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... Just so much, so much wrong and creepy. There's yes. so much just creepy in this movie. Yeah. That if he wouldn't have had his head chopped off, if he would have just been still alive and not murdered, that still would have been super creepy for that old guy. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> well, this is, I will say, since I watched this with a critical eye for the first time, um, I used to just watch it for entertainment, but since we've been doing this almost right. a year, everything, I critique everything now and I watch closely, I was actually able to to see how they did a lot of the the stunts with his head. Uh, um, oh, yeah, and, yeah. And while yeah. he's holding it in front and stuff, I was really watching closely. Yeah. And it's pretty smart because it goes by so quick, but it was uh, very it well done. Well. Yeah, pretty it's, well, it's done, really well done. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a couple of neat little scenes in there, like when he when he's got the shovel on his throat and he's you yeah know, got his foot on the shovel. That looks that's a really good effect. Yeah, I mean cause that looks like that thing's really taking his head off. It's like it, holy it, they did really well with a lot of that, yeah, and just him job with that. him setting which he, was clearly his head through that tray, the, <laughs> the actor's head, and they they laid flesh down around and pumped it full of blood. Why I don't know, and why was he breathing? He was just a fucking head. Couldn't figure out why, how he was talking either. I know, there was right? No lungs. There was no air yeah. go, to go through the. But that's that's all, you, you, dude. If we're gonna if we're gonna believe that uh, a glowing chemical can bring a body back, you better believe that he can talk too. You got you got a point, and that just that just sells it on the craziness of this movie. I I dig this flick. I I really really do. It's a lot of fun. It's it's insane. I love 80s horror films that aren't slasher yeah. films. Um, yeah. And I'm yeah, glad they, we're watching some that aren't just go kill I the teenagers. I think we need to watch Bride of the Reanimator, too. That, that's on Tubi. Um, yeah. And I thought there was a third one. I'm going to have to there look might for a be. third one. There I thought there was be. a third one that was made in the 2000s. That he revi- like he, the guy gets out of prison or something. Maybe I'm wrong. but I Yeah, we will definitely have to revisit, yeah. revisit this. Um, definitely. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, I, I highly it, recommend it. Even for as disgusting as it was, I, I thoroughly And to me, it. it was like, well, this ain't disgusting at all. Uh, <laughs> Boobs everywhere at the end. By the time yeah. she gets her top ripped off and she's strapped down, I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, that's that's a little exploitation going on there. Yeah, just thanks. a little. And then the corpse bodies stand up and the corpse boobs are all, all over the place. Boobs the and corpse, penises and as far as the eye can see. And the penises are flopping. I'm just like... Oh Lord! <laughs> please. Yeah, Stop. yeah. So please, when you watch this movie, gather the children around. It's family. No, movie. no, no, no. Do not gather the children around. It is rated R for lots of nudity. <laughs> yeah, uh, nudity. Just it's disgusting. It's this movie's just... wrong in many ways. It <laughs> it has such that eighties vibe though. You could tell. Oh, yeah. They had fun. Yeah. They just went and did this movie, and yeah. I bet they didn't spend a long time making it. Um, no, they had a they couple couldn't. locations and just went no. for it, and it was just... I, I love I love seeing that. Um, they, they had a medical advisor on, on staff for this movie. Did they really? My, my wife was like, what the hell did he advise? They got everything wrong. <laughs> well, like, yeah. They got the compressions wrong. They got this wrong. They got that well, look wrong. At, and the laughing. only thing I, yeah, and, and since she is in the medical field, I guarantee yeah. she saw all that shit. <laughs> she did. She's spotting it. Mean, she, you wouldn't, when, when they're doing the shock on the body, she, yeah. you never shock a, a, a dead line, or, you know, the, the the straight line. She goes, that's not what that's for. <laughs> well, even then. to bring him back to life. <laughs> when, when he did it to his girlfriend. Yeah, he put one here and the other one here, and it's like, um, that's not where you would go. <laughs> it's yeah. like, why are you on her neck with that? <laughs> and my my, my he, this is at the end of the movie where his girlfriend's been killed, of course, yeah. at the very last second. Um, oh, and he, after everything he's seen and after everything he saw these yes. monsters do, he still pumps her full of this chemical. I mean, the screen goes black, but you know he did a it. Woman screaming, but you know he's brought her back, and she's like. Why would you do that? I mean, I could see going and committing suicide, I guess, or, you know, freaking out. Because they brought Halsey back so fast that he was and still Halsey. Had, had he done the Halsey with, and the head would have been connected, it would have worked. It would have been fine. Yeah, it would have worked. 
So somewhere in there, they got the 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 yeah. shot right. So he probably got the shot right for this or not. And we yeah. will see. We will definitely have to visit yeah. that. Um, that. That's just strange. It's just very, very strange. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking, they're like, why would you do that? You, you seen what happened down in the morgue. Yeah. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it is. And that's, God damn it. It's always, it's always somebody doing some stupid things. But if they did, we wouldn't have these movies. Right. And that's just it. The car can't start. People got to be stupid. They got to run upstairs. It's <laughs> otherwise you don't have a movie and right. it, it, it right. makes for entertainment. This is an entertaining movie. It's, right. it's good in that aspect. Is it? No, fuck it. It's a good movie. <laughs> I don't know about a good movie. It's, a good it's movie. an entertaining movie. <laughs> Look, it is, it is well shot. The effects sell the hell out of this. The, the sound design. Good, yeah. um, the effects were good. It's great. And this shows the strength. And we, we've visited this a lot in the 80s with uh, practical effects. This right. really shows the strength right. of practical effects. I mean, this shit was Oh, definitely. Good. So it was... I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Reanimator. I would say if you like... If you are a fan of 80s horror films or 80s gore films, yeah. yes. If you're just looking for something to laugh at, Maybe not this. I mean, it's got some good laughs in it. It does. There's one, there's one where Jeffrey Coombs is trying to comfort the guy. I don't know what the guy had seen. What what, uh, what was his Kane had seen. But Kane is like having a meltdown. He's just yeah, he's out. curled up and in Jeffrey, a fetal position on the floor. Jeffrey Coombs is holding me. He's like, You're just in shock. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like it, this didn't help. <laughs> I, I think it was right after the guy, uh, her dad, gets killed by yes. the zombie guy. He's yeah. like, you're just in shock. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> and they reanimate him. So it's like, oh my God. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Oh, it's all just bad. Just badly it's, done. Jeffrey Coops. <laughs> there's, there's so much shit. It doesn't make sense. So much shit in the real yeah. world that would not happen. Take out the reanimation fantasy of it. Take out the yeah. zombies out of it. There's so much shit that just would not have happened. Right. Um, right. But it works for the story. Yeah, You had to go with this story. You had to go that that you in for to. a penny, in for a pound. You, you had know? to go all the way. And that's I guess that's what I'm yeah. saying. I really I really love seeing that the filmmakers just embraced this and said, let's right. go. Have, it's a joy ride. It's right. And that's what I mean when I say it's a good movie. It's got all the parts. It's it'll entertain you. Yeah. Um, it may not be your cup of tea, but damn, it's entertaining. Right. Right. It, it is very entertaining. And like I said, <laughs> I'm not a huge gore, gore guy. I mean, Scott and I have talked about this before. Yeah. I've watched a couple of movies. And I used to always be dragged to these things with my buddy Dave. <laughs> God bless him. He's ha he's so happy that I'm watching these movies now, by the way. I've oh, good. To, I've known this guy for almost 40 years. So it's like <laughs> I told him what we were watching. He's like, oh, my God, it's a classic. You're going to love it. It is a classic. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So I got to text him today and let him know I watched it finally yeah. uh, all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's good gore, '80s creepy, over the top, in your face. I mean, <laughs> the first five minutes, the first body head exploding with blood will yeah, set right this the entire bed. movie up for you. It just sets yes. the whole thing up for you. Yeah, and and Coombs' awesome delivery. I gave him life. <laughs> Coombs. Coombs. This movie wouldn't be as good without Jeffrey Coombs. No, it wouldn't. I'll, I will it tell wouldn't. you that right now. He's just got that look when he's when he's in the office with those guys and he's being introduced. And he's oh my God, that was great! Him. He's got his glasses on. He's, he does one of these. He's like, yes. <laughs> and that's it. Like he puts his glasses back on. It's like that guy is creepy. And when he comes to the house, I would not have let him in. No. I've been like, no, I'm, I'm banging my girlfriend. You can't come in right now or yeah. whatever. whatever. And she sensed it. She knew. She's like, oh, no, yeah. she, no, no. And then she, money. She, and it's like, yeah, yeah he, he has that trouble. big wad of freaking money, too. It's yeah. like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was trouble. That was trouble. Anybody yeah. who, who tries to buy you like that that quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know there's yeah. trouble. You know there's a lot so, of trouble to be had. I, I, we, we, we talk about the gore in this. And, um, it brings me to what I'm watching right now on the side is I decided to have a Saw marathon and I'm oh, a Lord. huge fan of the Saw movies. And as they go and on and on, 
they become gorier and gorier and just how bad can we make this? How much, how far can we go with the guts right. and gore and seeing people just ripped apart? Phenomenal effects in these movies, but wow. um, I just got through the first one. I've got about seven more to go in preparation for the latest one that's in theaters right now. Right. But it's, uh, have you seen any of the Saw movies? No. Okay. No, they, they really don't interest me, but everybody says you'd love them because they're like psycho thrillers and everybody deserves what they get. That, there's the, I don't know about psycho th- thriller, but I always consider the Saw movies as a morality play. Oh. Um, all the people are picked by this killer who never kills anybody. He just sets them up in these almost impossible to win games. Uh, so they, they learn to value life. Um, I think it's the seventh one where he gathers a bunch of insurance adjusters whose sole job it is, is to deny claim life saving uh, procedures and claims for people. Oh, shit. So they, so he puts them in a no win situation where they have to choose their life and stuff. So it, it's done that, that way throughout everybody um, is faced with something because uh, they're, they're complete assholes. So just live your life in a way that Jigsaw doesn't choose to put you in a puzzle. <laughs> you know, and that's... Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that, and that, that's, that's, that's why I think you would like that aspect of it. Uh-huh. You may not like the gore level because they just keep going and going and going. Right. And they're, they're so cool. And there's so many twists and turns. That one, one twist happened in the last movie, which was number eight that I never saw coming that it involved some, somebody you didn't see since the first movie. Uh, so they let seven movies pass before they played their card. It's like, Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, so they had played a long game on that. So apparently now it's kind of, it's the same writers, creators, uh, Chris Rock has come in to produce uh, for the newest one. I saw that the, the trailer was Chris Rock. Yeah. And uh, that actually looked pretty interesting. That, that it, I'm hearing crazy. it's really good, and I'm curious to see where they go with it. But um, that's kind of a gore movie. I put that right there right. with the Final Destination movies. Let's, let's yeah. see what, what kind of fabulous kill can we have? You know, it's <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So that being said, I love Reanimator. Dave, I uh, yeah, I liked it too. And like I oh. said, if if you like. Uh, gore movies from the 80s this is right up your alley if you if you're a jeffrey coombs fan like i am oh god watch this this is a good 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 movie it's, it's got its moments where it's really funny and then yeah. there's mostly it's mostly just you going what what how the hell did that yeah. happen or why you idiot like, that would never happen <laughs> there's a lot of there was a lot of me doing that last night what the where did that come from <laughs> how are those intestines strangling that guy <laughs> yeah. it makes no sense it makes no sense and that's fine that's fine um yeah, so like i said in for a penny in for a pound on, on your absolutely disbelief you know? absolutely um so for next week uh do we want to do dig on yeah, I think it's on Tubi. I think it's on Tubi. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll find it on yeah. Tubi. I believe it is on Tubi. Um, I've seen it a long time ago, but um, I don't remember it. It's uh, from all I can tell. It's about a shipwreck couple that ends up in a village of cultists worshiping the old gods. So hey, it is great. That's right where you want to show up. It's exactly where you want to show up. So more HP Lovecraft on the way. All right, so, very cool. Sounds good. Until next time. Hey, God.